Hey everybody, welcome back to Everything MTG. My name is Justin. I'm Amanda. And today we're going to keep it pretty casual. I'm just going to do some sorting on this booster box that I opened on cam the other day. Um, and I figured, you know, hey, why don't we bring you guys along for the ride? You can listen to the sweet, soothing sound of my serenading voice and, uh, you know, get to look at my Halo sword over here, which is, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> you know, Halo Energy Sword. I don't know if you guys are into that. I'm into it. So... Figured, you know, maybe talk State of the Union. I mean State of the Magic the Gathering Union. While I sort these cards. Because <laughs> I gotta get them sorted sometime and I gotta entertain myself. But if I'm down here talking to myself, it'll seem weird. So I'm gonna talk to you guys. How you doing? I'm okay. I spent a ton of money on cards, but hey, we've all been there. Haven't we? Maybe. <laughs> what do you guys think of the set so far? I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm more excited for the next set because Orzov is my jam. Oh, yeah, they're gonna, what, what, what's coming out in the next set? Orzov, Rakdos, Simic, uh, Orzov, Rakdos, Simic, Azorius. Azorius. And there's always that one that I can't remember. <laughs> what is it? If you know down in the comments below, <laughs> yeah. I always uh, can't green, remember red. one of them. What's the green, red? Gruel. Gruel. Yeah, Gruel Aid. Man, I used to play Gruel too. I played a Gruel uh, 60 card Eldrazi deck mm -hmm. where I would. Um, annihilate your opponents. <laughs> where I would annihilate my opponents. No, I would. Um, I would play a bunch of those like spawning spells, like the Fire Breath to get a token, and I'd play Brood Birthing to get like three more tokens. And then I'd drop Emrakul on, like, turn four. Mm. It's pretty fun. Like I said, Annihilate, Annihilator. <laughs> annihilate, yeah. Good stuff. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, um, I'm sorting these into Common and uncommons and commons. And then I'll sort from there. Also, there's there's tokens over here on the side. So, yeah, let's, like, do it further up. Just a token. It's just a token. Rip it. Just kidding. We had a we had a ton of tokens uh destroyed. Our basement flooded like what was it, like a month ago now? Oh yeah. Our basement flooded like a month ago and we had a BCW box of magic cards sitting on the floor and a um like an ultra pro binder right. like stuffed with tokens. And uh a lot of them got ruined. Oh yeah, they got wrecked. It was pretty bad. Thankfully it was only commons. Yeah, it was only common, so, you know, we can go buy another bulk batch on eBay or whatever. So, we'll get over that. <laughs> Anyways, I want to talk to you guys about um, the new LGS uh, situation. If you guys haven't heard that, Wizards is now going to be selling direct uh, through Amazon, Walmart. Walmart, and Target. So what that means is on Amazon, Walmart.com, and Target.com, you'll be able to buy a booster box um, instead of having to go to your local game store. Now, of course, you can go to your local game store. There's a rare in here. Uh, but it's, it's really discouraging people to go there because places like Amazon can operate on really thin margins. And I think, what's the current price of a box on Amazon? Like, 91? Yeah, 90. 90 or 91. 90 or 91. I mean, your typical LGS, at least my LGS, is going to get you for 105 after tax. Before tax. Oh, before tax. So, you know, you always want to support your LGS because where are you going to go to play game day and pre-release and stuff like that, right? Um, but everybody wants to save money. Mm -hmm. But it's a, it's a weird move that they decided to make. Uh, considering they just added in that, like, buy a box promo. So it's like, here, let us support you, the stores, by, you know, adding in a promo that's typically quite expensive. I mean, at the time, Fire Song and Sunspeaker was going for, like, 20 bucks. I think Nexus of Fate is still 15-ish. And I'm not sure about the Worm, but the Worm is actually, in my opinion, very good. Yeah. Uh, it could maybe see standard play, especially if you're playing like goblin tokens or something. Oh, yeah. Convoke that stuff out. It could be ridiculous. You're gonna play Gruel Aid, right? 
So, I don't know, it seems weird that they're like, here, let us support the store by adding in this pre-release, or sorry, not pre-release promo, this buy box promo, and then they turn around and, like, say they're going to sell directly to Amazon, Target, and Walmart. Now, the reason they gave for it was that they want to open up viability for people that don't have an LGS near them to get a box. But there's plenty of other sites for that, like TCG Player. Yeah, right, you go to TCG eBay, or eBay, you know. eBay, Channel Fireball, what have you. Yeah, Star City Games. Now, people are still going to be selling on uh, TCG, Star City Games, eBay. Even on Amazon, I think they're right. still going to have the market where now it's going to be like you can buy it directly from Amazon or you can buy it from another seller as well. But a lot of these game stores can't afford to operate making $90 or selling a box for $90 when they buy it for, you know, 80 or 85 I'm not sure. I'm not an LGS owner. I'm not sure what they buy it for. But, you know, they can't operate on those razor-thin margins. So a lot of people that, and are up in arms about it. more to, like, ship stuff out because they don't have the built-in shipping system that right. Amazon has. These are usually, like, little local, small-time operations it's one guy packing stuff in a box and shipping it you know? right right yeah so unless you're talking about like star city games or something. it's an interesting situation where a lot of people are saying this is going to be like the doom of the local game store um i don't necessarily think so but some of these stores might start getting away from magic the gathering a little bit you know like right now most lgs's are pretty heavily focused on mtg and then they like do other things but I think we're going to start seeing a lot of stores start doing other things with, you know, MTG being there. The only thing I don't want to see is, like, events not being held and stuff like that. And I wonder, too, um, I guess you're still not going to be able to get the Buy Box promo if you buy it on yeah. uh, Walmart or whatever, right? Yeah. So really it well. still does kind of encourage people to go buy from your LGS because you figure, okay, you're going to save... 10 bucks buying it from Amazon. Uh, but the buy box promo is typically worth like 15. Yeah. So you're actually either going to possibly lose $5 because of that promo or you're going to end up breaking even anyways and then whoops. Or gaining money like with And then you'll Nexus have a of Yeah, or gain money with Nexus of Fate, but then you'll have a pretty cool extra card, you know that some people don't have. So, I don't know. Let me know, you know, keep it civil if you guys uh, talk about it down in the comments, but let me know what you think about it. I'm a little concerned. Uh, I wish Wizards would give more attention to the LGSs because they really deserve it. I mean, they go through a lot of trouble to make sure they're a registered location, that they can hold events and get these boxes and stuff for their players, and Wizards just kind of poos on them. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Man, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorting comments from running comments. Oh my gosh. Um, did any of y'all buy the $250 Mythic Edition from Guilds of Ravnica? Uh. Because we didn't. Um, mostly because, well, Amanda actually did look, believe it or not. If she would have spent $250 on that, I would have, like, shat a brick. Because, like, <laughs> I was like, do not... That's, he, would have, he would have beat me mercilessly into oblivion. That's not true, but <laughs> two fifty was way too much for that. Um, but anyway, she checked like right after they came out, and they were all gone. Like immediately, the site was like crashed. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you couldn't even load the site properly. Yeah. So, were, were any of you guys able to get one? Did you actually spend two fifty on it? Do you now have it and feel like it was worth the value that you paid? Are you trying to resell it? Because I think you were on TCG, and they were going for like five hundred. Yeah, they're like double the price. Yeah. And what What makes it interesting for me is it's marketed as a draft. Yeah. Box. Isn't yeah, that draft funny? Kit. Yeah. It's a, a draft kit. Yeah. It's like a collector's item. Yeah, but they're marketing it as like, oh, you can you can use it as a draft box. Like each player gets a pack of the mythic pack with a planeswalker, and then you draft the other sixteen packs or whatever, uh, or however many packs. It's basically like the same size box as a modern masters with the 
the amount of packs. With an extra $70 price tag, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> As if Modern Masters wasn't already expensive enough. Yeah. They're not doing MM anymore, right? No. They're now, the, now they're like doing like theme sets or something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was way too expensive. Now, what all did it include? Like, I know you looked it up the other day to clarify like exactly what it included. Um. What was it like six... You want to look it up now? Yeah, I'll look it up. Like, it's like six packs, and then like three of them had the planeswalkers in them or some no, nonsense. No, no. Like, all, it's all the eight planeswalkers. There's eight packs, each of them containing a different planeswalker, along with, uh, you know, the regular pack. And then, oh, it's not on here anymore. It's not on there anymore. It's not on the site anymore. Snappy Doodle. Yeah. Let me see if I can. I can find it, though. Of the information. Um, How do I want to do this? <laughs> where do I, <laughs> where do I want to put these cards? Do I don't, I don't know. Right I don't even work here. Who are you people? Oh <laughs> um, let's see. We Dragonauts. Man, I love that card. We Dragonauts. We Dragonauts. Why am I like but, sorting them out like they're <laughs> like I'm doing like pre-release or something. I need to stack them on top of each other. I have a million of each of these cards. Oh, you're crazy. I know. All right. How do you guys sort cards? Do you just <laughs> throw them all in a shoebox like a certain somebody we know? Or do you actually so sort them out like I do? It contains 16 Guilds of Ravnica boosters. Wow, okay. And then 8 Guilds of Ravnica masterpiece boosters, and each one of those 8 contains a different Planeswalker. Yeah, and there's 8. So those... Masterpiece boosters have one card in them. No, 15 card packs, including a Mythic Rare Masterpiece. Oh, and it'll, order. so they are packs and in, they'll just in include addition, that. In addition to the Rare Mythic card. Okay, so it's just like a guaranteed Masterpiece pack. Right. Like you would get like a random lotto right. out of uh, so, previous sets. So it's 24 packs of 15 cards. Yeah. And eight of those packs have an additional... Promo Planeswalker, different one, um, one of each. So, but it's it's twenty four packs. So, and the, like I said, they were really um, pushing the uh, the draft of it. And I'm like, that's know. that's so weird that they want to like push that as draft. And here's the thing. Yeah. Um, Nothing against like any anybody else or any of my friends or anything, but I don't want people touching my hundred and fifty dollar Teferi <laughs> masterpiece. Yeah. Like some people, you know, people like oh they like to do this and like flick their cards and oh yeah, bend I'm gonna on. play this like this and like bend it down like ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would quad sleeve that thing and still be like, <laughs> don't touch it. It's like a museum piece. You can I look. Would, I would buy an empty um, SDCC promo box because you can get the boxes that are empty. Oh, can and you? Display. And put them in there. Yeah. yeah. That, I mean, yeah, I would not feel comfortable letting people, like, play with those cards. <laughs> so that's, I don't know. That seems like such a bad idea. I mean. Unless yeah. everybody, unless your entire group, like, went in on it. And you're like, let's split it eight ways. <laughs> That way, each one of us can pick one walker, or whatever. Right. But, it, I mean, come on. How often does that happen? That's, like, ridiculous. Here we go. So, right. we got this one sorted out. Got it all sorted, Benny Hanna. Yeah. Now, what we do is we throw these back in the box, and then they get unsorted, because they get <laughs> jostled around. <laughs> now, I'll put them away when I feel like it, which is probably going to be never. I'm going to do this in a different order this time. I'm going to go Wooberg this time. Because <laughs> I didn't Wooberg it last time. You must Wooberg. Always with the Wooberg. Always. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to start off right, though. Now I got to find a black card. White, blue, black, red. Did I pass a green card? I mean, people are selling the single booster, mythic booster packs for like 75 to $95. But that's kind of messed up because you don't know what's in there. You don't know which one it is. Teferi, I think, is the most expensive at like 180 right? He's like 140 to 180 depending. 140 to 180 And the cheapest one is like Elspeth Durant, at 35 Durant, or something? He's like 40 bucks. Yeah, so you're, that's one heck, one heck of a gamble. Oh, yeah. You gambling man. <laughs> huh, punk? 
Oh, uh, Liana's going for like Feeling 160 lucky. ish or 140 to 160. I mean, yeah, they're pretty expensive. Like I said, Duretti's really? probably the cheapest at like 40 bucks. Damn it, Duretti. Tazarette's like 40 bucks. Yeah, and of course, Taffy is expensive. ridiculously expensive because oh, yeah. he's super OP. You down with OP cards? <laughs> yeah, you know me. Always. White, blue, black, red, green. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, did I? I never sort cards like this, so. Like in, in Wooberg order. I normally just put them in a random order, but I was like, why don't I do it in Wooberg order? Like, that way it would make more sense. You would think. Now my brain's confused. What? I don't know. Should we have bought that and invested in it? <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I do a little bit of it, like investing, like a very small amount. I typically invest in um, Commander product because Commander product is typically very successful, although this last one was a little bit of a flop. I can find all of them on the shelf right now. Whereas, like, when Atraxa and that came out, you couldn't find it on the shelf for the first oh, two yeah. weeks. And then when you did find it, Brea and Atraxa weren't on the shelf. Yeah. So. Yeah, it took us forever to get our Brea. We ended up having to order it. Yeah, we ordered it from some website. And TCG, I think. Was it? Yeah. Are you TCG affiliated? <laughs> I am not. We need a sponsor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a sponsorship this way. Ha <laughs> ha. We love you, TCG. We buy stuff. TCG all the player, time. we love you. We buy from you exclusively, almost. <laughs> it's not necessarily true, but it could be true. My God, there's so many multicolored cards. Ravnica. See, like, if you guys do, like, I will warn you, if you ever order anything from Amazon, uh, not Amazon, from eBay, be very careful. eBay. <laughs> eBay. eBay is known for, you know, fraudulent. I wouldn't order cards on eBay that are over probably $10. And even $10 is kind of pushing it. Like, I wouldn't be ordering a $50 card off eBay, I'll tell you I that. Definitely, no. I definitely don't order unless it, they have an established review history. Oh, yeah, and even then, like, I, I still wouldn't do over, like, 10 bucks. Right. I mean, I think I have, but, you know, when you got gift cards... Well, I mean, I got the Hascon promos from You got to use them somehow. Oh, yeah, that turned out really well yeah. for us. Yeah, good old, good old Hascon promos. Uh-huh. Do you guys collect? Like, do you collect the Hascon promos in the, in the Mythic Edition? We do. That's why Amanda was looking into it, but I was like, so help me. Don't you spend $250 <laughs> on this. That's like half our rent payment. J JK, it's actually like one-fourth of our yeah, rent payment. Yeah, it's like one-fourth of our rent payment. <laughs> Still, though, that's, dang, that's like a car payment. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like a monthly car payment. Yeah. Um, I did get, let's see, like we got the Hascom promos, but I got them for a really good price. And then... Yeah. And then uh, the SDC 2017 promos I got from Hasbro itself and it paid MSRP with the Nicole, Mersp. What, what's a Nicole Bull scroll poster? Yeah, that looks pretty swag. Yeah. So, you know, I try to keep it within limits. Like, I don't like to overpay. Yeah, absolutely not. Like, I mean, the, the Mythic Edition. Though it's interesting, spend enough money on Magic Gathering. <laughs> you're better off to just buy whatever planeswalker you want individually. Yeah, unless you want them all to collect. I mean, if you want one to like bling out your commander deck or your, well, I can't say your standard deck because then you'd need maybe. four. Yeah, but then you'd need four. Yeah. So it's like if you want to buy one to bling out your commander deck, that'd be cool. Um, I know some some people are like that. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, way too expensive. Uh, what I was hoping for, and I talked about it before they came out, was that. Um, but I was thinking that you might they they might be a playset kind of deal, which they're not. But they did sell out rather quickly, so I was hoping people would sell them off. It's a lot of lands, and uh, they would crash the price. But I think because it's such, whoops, I think it's because in such limited quantities, and it's only one or, or like one copy one each, yeah. per. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that the price is gonna remain pretty stable. Yeah. 
But I don't know. I mean, it's 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 crazy. Like I'm on eBay right now looking at it. And you got six twenty five. You got six hundred. You got four fifty five. Five eighty seven. I mean, they're doubling, over doubling the price for this stuff, and it's ridiculous. Yep. I think I think Hasbro made a big mistake with it. I don't like it because with a product like this that people you know people are going to want those planeswalkers they want to bling out their decks they want it to look they, they look awesome well that was the whole point of why they charged so much that is why they charged so much but because they exclusively sold it all right technical difficulties i knocked over my camera while i was trying to get some skittles <laughs> no what i was saying was the way they did it was wrong because by exclusively selling it on Hasbro's website, first of all, the bots are going to get it. Plain and simple. I mean, the website couldn't even handle when the SDCC promos came out. It crashed the site. It was really difficult to get your hands on them. And it just can't handle that. And not to mention, it only ships to the U.S. and Canada, I think. Um, or maybe just the continental U.S. So, any all the players around the world, there are a lot of... Magic players in Europe, Japan, China, you know, Australia even, uh, that don't even get a chance to purchase it because they they automatically have to go to eBay and get the inflated prices. And a lot of eBay sellers won't even ship internationally either. Yep. So th they just say they just put a big fu to all their international players. Unless you a live big in the United foo. States. Yeah, unless you live in the United States, you're 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 screwed. Um, and even if you live in the United States, like there's not enough product, there's a limited edition, you know, whenever you name something limited edition, you know, the bots are going to go at it hard. Ah, marketing. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the people that did get a, get it great. That's awesome. Good, you know, good for you, but it's, you literally have to sit there and refresh, 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 and pray that you're faster than some bot. Which is unfair. I think it should have been more of a uh, something more like the um, the modern masters or the the from the vaults, where you could order it through your local game store, which again would support the local game store. Right. More money for them. They could upcharge a little bit, maybe not two hundred fifty dollars, but you know. Honestly, they should have made it, instead of doing the 16 packs or whatever, just make the 8 Planeswalker and a nice box, you know, sell it as like a from the vault kind of thing, and be done with it. I mean, they could charge 100 bucks and people would buy it, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, so, whenever they come out with these specialty products, like, I I mean, I'm on board. Specialty products, go ahead. That's, that's great. But, like, charging... More than the price of a master's box for yeah. a recent released set, and, and the only real reason, packs. yeah, not even as many packs, and the only real reason is because they can. It's it's, it's <laughs> essentially it's literally a money grab. I mean, yeah, That's it's all it is. but they've been doing that a lot lately. It's literally a corporate money grab. It's a let's put out this limited edition product, see how much money we can get as fast as we can. Yeah, you know. And it's unfair to the players that want to collect these cards and want to have these special edition products and things like that. It really is a slap in the face. I mean. Yeah, I agree. I mean, granted, most of your Magic players nowadays are a little older and can afford expensive extravagances. Yeah, but I mean, but not I don't want to pay 250 yeah. bucks. I mean, like I said, that's a car payment. Like two and I, a half booster box. I'm an adult, man. I got yeah. I got bills. I got car payments, and like, yeah, sure, I'll throw like fifty dollars every month out there to buy some cards for a commander deck or something. But two hundred fifty, and that's two and and, a half booster and you're right, that's, that's two and a half booster boxes. Yeah. Like, and and I could get two promos for that. Right. Two of the buy box promos right. for that. I mean, like, mm, that's just crazy. I don't agree. No. Yeah, so I would I would recommend exactly what Amanda says, which is um, buying just the one that you want, mm -hmm. just paying like, you know, fifty up to, bucks up to for it. I wouldn't pay one hundred and forty for Taffy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, give it a little bit, it might go down. 
Yeah, um, we'll see. But a man I mean, can. Like I said, I think Wizards instead of doing the sixteen packs plus the eight mythic packs and draft set and blah 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 blah, I think it should be have been more of a like promo from the vault. It's basically SDCC promos. Literally, it's what they are. Yeah, pretty much. You know, but instead of six, you get eight. Eight. And they're like randomly yeah. spread out. <laughs> well, I mean, six out six of the SDCC promos run about. Like, how they decide who went in there? Like, well, let's randomly I, throw in like I don't know Elspeth. Yeah. The yeah. original Elspeth. Yeah. yeah. Not even like Sun's Champion or anything. Just the original Elspeth. Yeah. That's so weird. The Cobola. There was like Elspeth. no. The Ready? Why? Why? If you look at it, aside from. Duretti and Elspeth, they all line up with like the story that's happening right now, right? Uh, Duretti and Elspeth are the two like outliers because you got Nicole Bolas and Teferi, they're part of the story. Right. You have Liliana. Liliana, part of the story. Uh, D- Tezzeret's part of the story. Tezzy. Mm-hmm. Who else is in there? Rosaric. Rosaric. He he's and working Vraska. for Nicole Bolas, and they just printed his card, so and, obviously he's going to be in there. And Vraska. And Vraska. So who are the other two? Elspeth and Doretti. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Elspeth and Doretti. Yeah. So like it. I mean, there was a theme there, and then all of a sudden it just like went off the rails. Yeah. <laughs> like what the heck happened? Anyways, guys, we're gonna call out the end of this video. Sorted all those cards. Thanks for uh, keeping me company. If you guys enjoyed this kind of video, uh, throw a like out there and a comment. Let me know, and I'll do some more like this. I have plenty of more cards to sort. You would not believe <laughs> how many cards I have sitting around here that need sorted. Yeah. So we can do another one of these. If you guys hated it, you know, let me know, and I just won't do another one. But I figured keep myself busy, you know, talk about some talk about the new deck box, some guess. random stuff. Oh yeah, we'll we'll get to that in another video. Anyways, guys, uh, subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. You know, I, I love getting new subscribers and interacting with people. The more people they interact with, the better. I love it. You know, more Magic players in a, in a group together. It's yeah. such a it's such a group hug feeling. Well, maybe if we hit 100 subscribers, we'll do a giveaway or something. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. Like pretty close, I think. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, we'll I'd do have like to, a live stream or something. I'd have to think about what we'd give away. I don't know, maybe we might give something away at 100 subs. If you guys were to want to have something given away, what would, what, you want? What would it be? Yeah. Would it be like a couple packs? What sets would they be from? Nothing like $100 a piece. Like, <laughs> like no Lorwyn packs. Let's not get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give away a booster box. I'm too poor. Mm, so Yeah. I mean, but yeah, give us some ideas. Throw it out there. Yeah. See what you would want. I mean, we've got we've got some stuff here that we could throw together we can get some stuff so yeah absolutely anyways guys appreciate y'all watching we'll see you next time right here on everything mtg take it easy